So the final. Gweke, Duquesne, Gaffney, Cohen, Terzi, Littenberger, Halevi and Somigera. The first event of the session in which Japan should fancy a gold medal is uh, on the cards here. And a, a medal, rather, rather than a gold medal with uh, Koike going out in lane one. But Mackenzie Cohen straight into it. And Julia Gaffney alongside her. But it's looking to be Julia Terzi who's taking it out hard. And maybe making a little bit of a push here for a little bit of a scare on Cohen's reign. Yeah, I mean, Terzi right now, she just took it out hard. At this point, what Mackenzie Cohen has to do is she has to not panic, right? You have eight lengths of the pool. This is the longest race. It's basically the distance race in Paralympic swimming. And so it's important that Mackenzie Cohen not get too worried if someone goes out and takes the early lead. But, you know, at this point, Tercy, she's looking very strong. Yeah, Mackenzie Cohen made such a splash on her Paralympic Games debut in Rio. I mean, first she came out and smashed the 50 freestyle winning gold, and then she went on to stand atop the podium for the 100 and the 400 as she claimed the uh, unique treble and then also went on to win a uh, relay silver as well what a impressive Paralympic Games debut yeah and you see Tercy she doesn't really get much off the wall she does have the height though over Mackenzie Cohen and Mackenzie Cohen she's got this powerful stroke each time and she does appear to be pulling up a little bit on Tercy so we'll see who's touching first at the end of the 150. Well, it's going to be interesting to see how these two battle against one another here because Mackenzie Cohen is the class act. She, we know that she's got the back end speed, we know that she's got the ability to finish strongest, we know that she's got the ability to, to time her splits perfectly and she's very much somebody who uses technology. It's a big part of her, her training. She, she, she measures everything from the length of her stroke to the distance gained per stroke to a breakout to her turn times. She's somebody who's so aware of what she is doing at any given point in the pool. Cersei, however, seems to be going on feel here and she's definitely not losing any pace. The battle for bronze, it looks to be Julia Gaffney who uh, had that sort of breakout at the World Championships in 2019 where she picked up gold in the 200 IM. But she is in bronze medal position, but still being watched carefully by the 20-year-old Canadian Duquesne and, of course, going in six, Littenberger of USA. Here they are at the wall. Now Mackenzie Cohen. Tercy actually turned first, but Mackenzie Cohen, now you really start see her starting to pull up right there. You know, we talked about how she's so aware of her body position. She's also, you know, at, during COVID, she's one of the swimmers who talked about how she actually transformed her, her garage into a pool so that she could train. She didn't sure. want to lose anything because feel for her is so important in the water. There's some very interesting uh, videos on social media that she posted is keeping her followers up to date with what she was doing and how she was doing. This is turning out to be a really intense battle between these two at the front. Terzi is the ambitious youngster who is looking to upset Mackenzie Cohen, who won the freestyle treble at the Rio Games. And this at the 250 sees them neck and neck separated by very little at the moment. Julia Gaffney is looking good still for the bronze medal, but there is a uh, good swim from Littenberger who looks to be pulling just a little closer. It's Duquesne of Canada who is fading now as she swims in her first Paralympic Games final and lies fifth overall. There's Littenberger who's making up a little bit of ground here on Gaffney, but the United States, three of the swimmers in the top four, so looking good for medal placings here. Mackenzie Cohen going with that tumble turn, whereas Tercy just swipes the body around and turning in the opposite direction. Yeah, but right here in this last 100, Mackenzie Cohen, she should be very strong. We know she's a sprinter. We know she has that speed at the end. And here you see her, although Terzi, she is really hanging in there and giving Mackenzie Cohen a run for her money right now. Mackenzie Cohen, she's trying to extend her lead. You see how wide her arm span is as she continues to pull more, and she's trying to pull away. And here come her legs as, you know, she's really turning them on at the end. Well, this is uh, really turning into be a very promising uh, battle between two hopefuls for a gold medal. Terzi, in the end, is looking to challenge for the gold medal, but she's being undone by a multiple champion, a multiple Paralympic Games gold medalist in Mackenzie Cohen. Now, Mackenzie Cohen, who uh, 
who looked to turn and stay in front, is having a bit of a battle on her hands because Terzi threatening to come back at the 25-metre mark. It is Gaffney of the United States who's pushed ahead after the turn at 350 to put herself in bronze medal position and come home to give herself some sort of compensation and consolation after missing out on the I am gold. It's Mackenzie Cohen, though, who is coming in to claim the gold medal and touches ahead of Terzi, who claims another silver. Mackenzie Cohen successfully defends the title that she won at Rio 2016, and Julia Gaffney does indeed touch third fastest to claim the bronze as the United States pick up silver and bronze, uh, gold and bronze, with Terzi, the silver, upsetting the potential of an all-American podium. Julia Gaffney and Mackenzie Cohen embrace they Julie will both Gaffney. be on the podium. Yeah, Julia, she's got to be really happy with that performance, especially after the 200-meter individual medley, which was her favorite event. And now to get on the podium in the 400 freestyle, she has to be very happy with that performance. So Samadera touches in now, 5.54.31 for Mexican swimmer. And for Mackenzie Cohen, it is another golden delight. Julia Terzi, somebody who uh, hopes to help anybody with impairment in Italy in the years ahead. She's got a master's degree in legal theory. So Mackenzie Cohen, incidentally, wants to go into law after her swimming career. Well, Mackenzie Cohen, an incredible swim and a brilliant champion. I mean, this was a great race in the 400 meter freestyle. It was a battle between Tercy and Cohen the whole way through. Tercy went out with that early lead and she continued, she, she really held the lead. I think it was until the 300 mark where Mackenzie Cohen ultimately turned ahead of Tercy to take the lead. She tried to extend it a bit in the 350 and then on the way home, it was like in the last 25 meters coming into the wall, Tercy, she started to pull back on Mackenzie Cohen and she moved up a little bit. She was just at her shoulders. And then Mackenzie Cohen, she dove for the wall and she hit in 5.05.86. She's got to be happy with that time. Jackie Fernays, her world record though, it is still safe for, you know, maybe another three years, but Mackenzie Cohen is going to fight for it. Somebody who has been in the water for 20 years the swimming career started with some aquatherapy when she was but five years old. Mackenzie Cohen is a champion for the fourth time in the Paralympic Games as she successfully defends her 400 meter freestyle S7 title from Rio. Julia Terzi with her second silver of Tokyo 2020 and Julia Gaffney after missing out in her favorite IM does make a podium as she claims bronze in the 400 free S7.